on Mars. I don't think really? it is. Well, the name is. I'm yeah, the, about the, the thing itself, no, but the name is. Not like Victoria Crater. Yeah, which actually is based off a terrain feature on Earth, I think. Yeah, I'm assuming the um, the detailed geographic survey of metal we can only assume. <laughs> right. Presumably, yeah. It's strange how on Mars the metal comes in little circular patches. Strange that that happens on Earth. <laughs> I don't know, are there any of these maps based? That, on Mars? that is an Earth location. Yeah. Oh, okay. That isn't. You can actually go to the Wikipedia page, and it's the same picture as the map. Right. Of Victoria Crater. That's probably where they got it from. I mean, there's Possibly. there's those um, there's those like, I, th I think somebody made a map which is like Risk. Like, is it, ah, there's yes. like a the real real maps. Yeah, like or real Europe or what have you. Yep. Near Europe. Near Europe, sir. Good one. In Europe. So we have the game, a fairly macro based map from its size. Yeah, this will be, I think, something that Golda and Drone, as we've seen before, will probably flourish on very nicely. Scarzi was um, a, a little bit whatever about playing it. I wonder if we're going to see some cheese out of them. <laughs> Out of Skazi and yourself up. Yeah. Well, well, they have that at least. Yogg know, and Skazi have higher team elo than drone. Okay, that's something. Yeah, I don't, I don't know the drone plays much teams. <laughs> so I, don't I know, but they're still a pretty map. scary player. Oh yeah, like, no, no, number two, one v one. Um. I, I, well, okay. Randy's apparently no longer active, but haven't seen him in a long while. I don't know where they've been. They kind of played, did well, and then left. Just they come and go. Well, they only no, Randy and Ex came once. Randy and Exist were um, pretty terrifying two v two team by all accounts. They were, although I think they played maybe one tournament at most. I'm not sure they even mm. played one tournament. I think they just played, because I know I Randy was in 1v1 tournaments, and it was scary. Yeah. I, th I think Randy and Exist played in a 2v2 tournament at some point. I don't know what it was about Exist. Um, you, know, you know, he was top 10, right? He's pretty pretty good, but every, every time I played, I played 1v1 against him some, and he thrashed me every game. Like, you know, like the, the kind of thrashing I'd expect to only take from, you know, like, God A, right? Right. I, I, I mean, like, I've played against, you know, I've, I've played one one v ones against Drone and didn't get smashed that bad. But it, but it, something about Exist's style just ruined me every game. I don't even know what it was. Is Scassy mm -hmm. going to place before the game is four start automatically? Yep. <laughs> yes, he is. So we've got double vehicle on the left, to some kind of floaky shield on the right. Hmm. It's unusual because vehicles can't go over. Oh no, they've changed just to Cloaky the last minute on the left. Oh. Okay. So we have Skazi playing Cloaky. Your Xotoff with his light vehicles. Um, drone with Cloaky and Gode playing Shield Bots. Shield Bots surprised me a little on this map. Feels a bit. As well as his. Um, Battlecom, they both feel a bit slow, but presumably he knows what he's doing. We can only hope for their sake. I better, mean, better, sure. than, better than us mere mortals. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Goldas are Can't better than us sad. mere mortals. They're not too slow. Yeah. Not it's too much not, slower than Conjurers. It's not, yeah, it's not dreadfully slow, it's just um. Actually, wait, a little checking. They're, they're faster than Conjurers. What's faster? Convicts are faster than conjurers. Really? Wow, okay. Damn it, Twitch is being annoying. You're quite right. I would, the main I would difference not... is being in Bandit. Right.
Sorry, I'm having a bit of trouble. I'm updating the Twitch Twitch stream title and it's not letting me. Oh, finally. Right. The thing I really hate about Twitch is that it keeps logging me out all the time for some random reason. No idea why. Just, I keep going on there and I'm suddenly logged out. It's like, I was logged in not five minutes ago. I typed in my password not five minutes ago. I don't know. It's really silly. Anyway, so even now, um, Gode and Drone have pulled slightly ahead in the expansion. They just go for that one extra worker every time, it seems. Like, they go for one extra worker or just focus on just that much, a little bit more. They have enough military units and a good enough control over those military units that they can get away with it. Mm. I think they've, um, they've been, Gode and Drone have been raiding a great deal. Like, they've invested a great deal less into raiding. There's... Maybe been a mm -hmm. handful of glaives which um, Drona sent out, but besides that, I don't know, I don't know the guy's only now moving past his half of the map. Yeah, right there. But but I, but on the other hand, I don't know that um, you know, Xothos and Skarzy, I don't know that their raiding actually accomplished much. Skarzy's built four conjurers. I feel like that might be a few too many at this stage of the game. But he only has 15 income. Well, two of them are idle. That's middle. the bigger problem. He had, he had all four building the radar. This is a bit like Overkill. Well, if they can take but the north side, like, if they get the territory in the north, they're actually going to get a lot from that. Mm, and I mean, yeah, the thing is, the, two the of them... Of Sorry, they could be building wind. Yeah, the, amount of time, the amount of time they're going to spend walking to take the mechs means that, you know, bu building a few more constructors than you have income is fine, but between the factory, the commander, and four... Constructors, I don't know about that. And he's gonna, he's gonna lose one now. But uh, yeah, and no power. Like Where's the power? That. Where's the energy? Because I thought it's building, start, just starting a geo now. Okay, yogg has got that handle, but what about the others? What about the, the rest of the stuff? Guys, yes. Mm. Guy, guy, on the other hand, is um, for a geo, a, Sally. I guess Apparently, we'll say. I don't know if he's. No, no, he should hold it with the defenders. Whereas drone and god are going for huh. a lot of wins. Or gold in particular has like a, a lot of wind. It's just working out better. There's a sink error for a spectator. <laughs> oh, unusual. crap. That's bad. I mean, it's a spectator, but still, sink errors are bad. Hmm. Hopefully it doesn't get any worse. <laughs> Ominous indeed. <laughs> Maybe. Um, with the engine changing around is it, you know, hmm. between games... Uh, with different testings. Sometimes the path cache is built differently between engines. Oh. So some people have trouble flushing their cache. That's the, the common one I've found. That's the common cause of desyncs? Yeah. Okay. That's good. We haven't know. found anything wrong with the actual engine so far, just the path caching clear system. That would make sense. Well, this, this, this handful of glaives running through the middle might be a little inconvenient. Might, um, Maybe. Oh no, they're going to they're gonna get cleaned up. They're, but they're going to take. A, they're going to kill a couple of wind generators. That's, that's all they can do. They got to focus on that. They're, they're going to get something. They're going to get something. Actually, okay, Skazi managed to pull away. With, it peeled away with one of them and is getting. Wow, that's half a dozen wind generators. Oh, almost got a seventh one. But still, they got. Still pretty good for. A, yeah, they got the energy below the metal income. And look at Golda's energy now. But, Their energy is lower than the metal. I think that's, I think that's partly because the wind's gone down. Yeah, that wind. also helps. But they have a Geo that's going to finish in six seconds. Mm. So they're okay. I mean, the other thing about those wind generators is they, they are not now, nor were they ever actually connected to a max. Well, that's okay. Yeah. At this point of the game, you really just want energy. That's true. And that is kind you of want, the best place to build yeah, wind you generators. You want the effective build power, that's the thing. Mm. Otherwise, what's the point? Look at... Look at the like, economy as a whole. Got and trying to pulling slightly ahead, about 30, 32, 34-odd metal income. Some of that might be reclaimed. Well, not not sure. just slightly, that's about... How much would that be? That'd be a 10 total. Oh, no, 20 total now. 20 total. So that's... Mm. It, I don't know, it's that's oscillating a bit. About I'm wondering, 20% more. I'm wondering if it's some of its reclaim, though. Yeah, it is. Oh, Gold is reclaiming more. a bit. Or, oh. You can kind of tell because <laughs> if it's reclaimed, then it's not even. Like if someone, if yeah, one person not... on the team has more metal than the other, it means that they're reclaiming because it's the only way they can get the metal. Ah, uh, no, there's weird overdrive <laughs> things. If you build the max, you initially get its income. Oh, really? Oh, okay. 
it pays itself. I think back. that it's been might be only a one or two metal discrepancy, though. I don't think that would explain a five or six, a five to ten metal discrepancy. No, it wouldn't. But we've got twenty. No, between the two of them, between twenty-four on the left and twenty-eight on the right. So it's a minor yeah. bonus. I meant more that it's between the two teammates, not between the two teams. Yes. But still, yeah, that, that, and you're right though, Yogg's and Skies are taking a lot of territory. They aren't converting that territory into economy that quickly, that's the only thing. Especially the Seems south the main side. difference. The main actually difference with Gotti and Drone has been that they just use their constructors so well to expand early on, and well, then later. I, that's something I think that a lot of people forget, which is kind of surprising, because I would think Yogg's and Skies being the LO they are, they would know this. That building metal extractors is usually worth it, even if they die within a minute. Because they'll pay for themselves within half a minute. If they're plus two. But most metal spots are plus two, so that's fine. So like getting the metal spots the is worth it. Mm. Most of the time. The, the problem with the problem with the, which you know, Xala is having down the it's bottom is that it's coming through the top. Is it because there's a bunch of hills there? His factory's light vehicle. Oh yeah. So the right. only constructor the only constructor who's been able to get there easily is his com, and his com is busy setting up defenses. Drones set up a more, yeah, drones built a um, geo of his own, and got a step building the middle one. Was now um, yeah. got a just setting the, a stream of bandits into the top. Scuzzy's commander but, is going to go down though. That's pretty big blow. Given yeah, the well, it would have been worth it to kill the bandits though. Yeah, Scuzzy gets off an okay tick near his factory, but meh. okay, uh, it should be the enough. Bandits, they'll they'll the bandits, just lose the top. That's okay. Yeah, they're gonna lose some max, but yeah. But that's still a good There's point a about the factory choice is that it does Quite mean important. the south. The fact that it did require the use of conjurers or as use of bots, the vehicles can't help there. Probably slowed things down a bit. Mm. Especially now that Skazi has a metal disadvantage compared to their teammate, and just generally that side has a metal disadvantage overall. One thing I've noticed was a bit unfortunate. Just uh, just um, up into the right of drones cloaky bot factory the gens aren't quite connected so oh, he's not getting yeah. quite as much overdrive as like from his um from his geo but it's, it's still you know he's still overdriving it enough next to make it worth it just, are you well, sure they're the same color the grids actually. look connected yeah they, they're, they're not quite, the same color just just there i don't, I don't think they, you know, they are the same color but i don't that doesn't look connected maybe it if is. they're the same color then they're both the same power so it doesn't matter yeah I suppose maybe they are connected and the, and the um, circles just aren't connected I for some reason. I think that's the case. Uh, strategically, they've taken back the north. They've fought off the bandit raid with the help mm. of these slashes coming well, in. Got to switch to um, switch into air and has destroyed Yogzala's com down the bottom. Oh, crap, that, I that, that, that was that was the only that was the only um, that was the only constructor that could really deal well with the cliffs down there. So. That's going to be a serious problem. Looks like Drones mm. is going to flood in with his glaives now and pretty but much clean that up. These are going to destroy the defense. Yeah. Along with the sharpshooter. They don't have to worry about it. The, the glaives will take care of everything that's there because there's not much. Yeah, the problem is because Yuxolov has had to um, redeploy his slashes and you know his army in general top to help um, help Skazi hold there. He's had to give up the bottom. Mm -hmm. And that gave the yeah, opening. It's not looking good for them. They've yeah. lost the top expansion. They're losing the bottom expansion. Yeah, so that, they at this have point, some territory. It's very poorly held. And they have half the economy too. Look at the numbers. Well, yes, that's. They've lost all their maxes. Exactly, but that's not just that. They're out of any territory for reclaim, so they can't even use reclaim to try to eat their way back into it. Uh, there's actually the only hope two and a half thousand at the top left. There. Oh, that's true. Okay, if they can get, take that and then get rid of the hammers, that's at least quite safe. break that push. Are you sure? But a lot of that's gold. Got... We're very close to gold as commander. There are now thirteen ravens out for Godet. Oh yeah! Wow. Hmm. Their yeah, raven, the ravens may now be very slow. <laughs> the raven just can't can't get just can't catch the glaives. Yeah, that's a. Well, they can ignore the glaze, just to kill everything else. Yeah, I'm not, I, yeah, feel, I do like that around. change. That it always, it always felt a bit weird that Raven was was good against um, was good against just like light raiders as a precision bomber. 
Well, I think that's the reason he had made... Well, the Raven monoculture was the entire reason you changed that. Yeah. And yeah, but now they've got a much better, more refined role. Yes. Mm. And now Golda's commander dead. is dead. But I don't think that... Oh, oh that would change things. Yeah, no, it, it should be dead. Yeah. Oh, it's dead. It's just that I don't it, know if it'll change things as the game progresses. It won't change anything. Those turrets aren't important. Mm. No, that it's was not even worth playing. killing them. I'm not sure why you built only lotuses there. Like a single stinger or something probably would have made a lot more difference. Probably would have uh, been too much. Six lotuses really, is actually it, quite it cheap. <laughs> I like. I think two two lotuses and a stinger probably would have been more effective. The Zeus is, the Zeus is the will all die now though. Oh. These ravens. Yeah. Although then again, drone coming and get rid of the geo plant. So Yogstoth's main energy advantage is gone. Yogstoth's main like energy economy is almost gone. Nice ish tick, but not great. Slightly better tick, but yeah, this is this is done. Skazi's base is yeah, basically gone. Dr Golda coming in to finish off what drone had started. I mean, you see the caretakers now, so the caretakers are all dead. Kind of surprised that Golda is not focusing on the metal extractors and caretakers. Like, you have enough. They have enough ravens, they could hit every metal extractor at once and just rip apart the entire economy. It's a little bit pointless. Um, air, air, airplane plant is repeat building 95 ravens. Uh huh. Bit of a mix of <laughs> tactics there. Yeah, well, I, I mean, it, it builds ravens all the same, I suppose. Yeah, that's true. I guess, you know, if he wants it's to stop the repeat TA. build, he still has another 95 ravens that he'll be able to build in the meantime. Just so he doesn't run so out. Look at this. Um, looks like Drone is near. Drone is. Oh no, he's turned back on the repeat. I was wondering if Drone actually just doesn't use repeat and he just like he's always microing his oh, faction. Random style? <laughs> no, yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah. The Ravens just yeah, go, no, they can't no. actually kill crashes. No, to much to their peril. But like I said, metal extractors. There's all these metal extractors, juicy metal extractors that can be taken out all at once with a nice split. At this point it doesn't really matter that they seem to have this wiped thoroughly. Oh yeah, they got it in the bag, it's just that, you know, might as well break it quick. It's funny, crashes used. Uh, is, the crashes used, I believe, to be not not all that good. But um, now that now that ra now that they can just outrun bombing ravens, and they almost outrun rapiers, which are the new you know which, which are the new flavor of the month. Crashes are actually quite good. Yep, I think they were changed. There was some change to them. I don't think it was, was recent. There? I could be wrong. To them or to just everything else? To crashes. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Crashes may have been changed, but I think it's, but I think it's like the the change in you know in ravens being slower and rapiers being built a lot. Yes. That's making them much more relevant than they used to be. Well, rapiers are built a lot because they can, are no longer just killed by ravens. Yeah, that helps too. Yeah, that raven nerf really <laughs> changed a lot, didn't it? Hmm. But as you can see, they're still quite useful. Well, they're still useful, but at least they're not dominating. At least it's not the only thing you again, build. I again, I feel like it was just the way that um, God, I chose to end this game. I agree. But Possibly, but the commander snipers. Okay, that's true. Still quite efficient. As in the first three ravens. Hmm. After that, of course, you could just spam them. Well, we're going to be moving on to game two on a map of someone's choosing. Scuzzy and Exotha. Um, are they allowed to choose us? You run again. I suppose they have to be, really. Oh yeah, there's no real restriction to maps that have been played, as long as they haven't been played in that tournament. Hmm. You mean in, in that in that round? Yeah. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. <laughs> <It's>... Yep. <laughs> You're right. The last the, what I just said makes no sense. Yeah. Well, so it says just exactly what you're trying not to say. <laughs> yeah, that's you're exactly right. Yes, it's. That's exactly wrong. Mm. Alright, so game two. What are we going to be on? Let me know, because I am curious. I also want to write it down so people know. I feel like maybe they just go back to Icy Run again. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know, I some other map along those lines. I wouldn't be surprised. No, they chose, they, you know, they chose Comet Catcher against... Um, Against Snuggle Base and Okamoko, but is, is, is an entirely different 
kettle of fish. I hope they're going to choose Comic Catcher against these guys. I seriously... Oh, uh, apparently no. Snugglebase pointing out crashes had their price removed or price reduced. Oh, okay. When did that happen? I don't know. Google Frog? Um, it was around about the time of the Raven change, I think. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, it, where, where is there a actual patch log? You know, like a, is, is there a place where like all of the historical balance changes are put in one place, or do you just have to go looking? That would be the release notes page. Right. Yeah. So there is a the page. Wiki page. You don't have to look at the source code. Don't worry. We're not that uh, cruel. Yeah. We don't force you to look at the source code to understand what's going on. We document. Yeah, well... It's like, well, I, I could read documentation in source code. I, I could live with that. Okay, what is it? I've got... Um, I know, but there's a lot to go... It was go, the overpowered missile through. update. Yeah, Crash went true. from 260 to 220. The well, okay. missile update? Overpowered missile update. That was January. Why was it going Yeah, that was a while ago. Oh, it's because missiles no longer overkilled, I think. Oh. Yeah. That was a change to Haxor, Angler, and Crasher because they all seemed a bit weird and bad. I do feel, though, that even if Crasher costs 260 now, it'll still be a much better unit than it was last year. <laughs> Just because of the environment it's in. Yes. Like, I, I would build Crashers for 260 because they, re they beat... Re they beat rapiers. There's not a whole lot of stuff that just beats rapiers. Well, they, okay, they beat rapiers if they have space to run. No, yeah, have, to, have to make that provisor. Oh, rapids. That's... It looks like they want to run a scallop drop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, de the defensible heal, the, the water. Yeah, the fact yeah. that is... Although, the fact that it's an anth map probably gives that away. I don't know, I feel like Scars, you might want to just get this over with. <laughs> yeah, win or die. Oh, whoops, I probably... This way if I don't have clan tags. And we'll see what happens. Well, I guess if they win, then they have to go to game three. So die... Actually, three, if they, they win, they win and then they win again, then they have to go to game... Well, they have to go to match two. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to have that. It was kind of nice in the first t tournament we had with double elimination last month that it did go on to a run back. They'd go to the last, very, very last one, so we got to experience the entirety of a double elimination tournament. If this is how it works. Yeah. But I wouldn't mind if it ended now, if Drone and Gold had just won and then that was the tournament that was done. We'll see a Drone yeah. going for the gunships. Drone knows what's up. Oh, we, we want a double base trade scallop drop. We'll be satisfied with nothing less. Yeah. Uh, by four okay. minutes, by four minutes, the game has to be a few scallops in one base and a few scallops in the other base. Neither base belonging to the owner of the scallops. Yes. Uh, Scuzzy picking Scuzzy's picking the metal points that I think he wants to actually expand. That's that's not how to play this map. <laughs> yeah. This uh -oh. one, is it 1.98? Oh yeah. no, he's just complaining about the asymmetry, how this spot up here is 2.04. Okay, see, I have only one <laughs> decimal point showing, not two decimal points showing, so I don't see that well, level so of precision. So do I, but um, if you hover your mouse over the metal point... Oh, that's true, yeah, you get the better precision. I don't know, it's, it's the kinds of second decimal point plays you need in this game. Frankly, I think yeah. they need more than a second decimal point play to win. <laughs> it's not that close. But yeah, it looks like Golden and Drone are going for a scallop drop. So, yeah, double scallop drop. Well, they could just be going... Um, what, what, was the, what was the strategy we saw on uh, Contested Canyon? Like, um, that, I, was I, Duck, that was Valkyrie Duck Valkyrie into not using the Valkyrie for anything. Yeah, the Val empty Valkyrie yeah. scout. <laughs> they used that for Rapiers, I think. No, Comnap. No, not Comnap. Rapier with Nat. So Nat's done with Duck Rush. I and think the Nat is a scout. Rapier Rush and Duck Rush. So no scallop drop. No one wants to use a scallop drop. Disappointing. Or scallop drops. Ugh. The Nat's probably a scout, although it stopped in mid in the middle of nowhere. Oh no, there it goes. Yeah. Right into that duck. I remain disappointed. Right into that duck. 
And now it goes down. There we go, that's death. It did destroy a nanoframe by running into it. So, some damage dealt. Hooray? I guess. Something? Well, well that was messing around with it earlier today. Um, so, uh, I played against a single CAI and built nothing but blast wings. Huh, how'd so that I go? I want to see if I... Oh, Oh, well, I beat it eventually. I needed like a hundred metal income though. <laughs> Just uh. rallied two factories worth of blast wings into the into the AI until it died. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. How, like, blast wings are really finicky. Fine. So, so look at this. We've already got three mexes to five. They just really know how to expand. Yeah. Well, like I said, they just expand aggressively. While Yagasan's Gazi build one too many military units and one too few workers. Or leave the workers idle. Oh, that's a duck. Never mind. <laughs> I'm complaining that ducks. I'm wrong. But still, Yagasan's commander is idle. Yagasan's commander was idle. So that's the one thing. I think that may be another difference, too. I think Godot, well, Godot and Drone haven't ever built any um, constructors this game, but I think they're just, they're just moving out faster with their... Yeah. They're Scassi being idle up. less frequently, commander I guess. Commander is semi-idle in that it's not moving out. I mean, there's a problem you see, like, you know, okay, so, you know, because some of those are they, they are not newbies, right? No, not like, at all. It's a problem, no, but, like... I, I feel a little intimidated kind of, commentating about them because they're quite high elo. Uh, yeah, but I, my, my point is, the, it's kind of analogous to, you know, so, say if I play 1v1 against a new player, then, um, you know, I, I can build less raiders than them and still... You know, like force them to expand less just just because my raider control is better, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, like, and it's you know at some point, and you know at some point, you, you know, a new player is going to be intimidated by you know, you know playing as this person. You know, like, I, I need to build so many more military units than them that I can beat them, even though they're going to out control me. Well, that's something I found with RTS games in general is the here there be dragons problem. Like you don't know what there is, so there must be dragons. Like, because you can't see the rest of the map. I mean, total annihilation based games are generally better at avoiding that due to the fact that you have radar. But even with radar, it still feels like there be dragons everywhere you can't right now see. So you feel like you gotta <laughs> overcompensate for that. And then sometimes, like this case with Yasha's Commander, there are dragons. Yes. And that's game. Well, that's not game, but that's death for that commander. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bit early. Although yeah. <laughs> the rapiers have been winning, the ducks have been winning. Yeah, I still think that's game. <laughs> I don't mean to call yeah, it too early, it's... but Golda has the northwest. Drones going to take the southeast. As Crane setting that up, has the rapiers that have been winning. They could probably attack with the yeah, ducks but... and take out the base right now if they wanted to. Uh, ducks yeah, but... have awful, awful DPS. They wouldn't be able to kill the base. Oh, it's ducks and scallops. But ducks, scallops, rapiers all together probably would do it. Well, it's it's four minutes now, and everybody still has their original factories. I know. Wait, wait, I'm disappointed. This is this. Re, just do it over. Do over. Redo. This, like, start it over. This, this game is um, failed to failed to meet my expectations. No, this 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 is this is invalid. We we got to throw this out. This game. This game has to be oh, redone. Oh, the support commander's too tall. He pokes out of the water, and <laughs> that's his dad. Just that's... barely can shoot out of the water, though. That's the one thing. I know he's he's gone to deeper water and is now safe. Very Except slightly. This duck. Except, Except this for the duck. duck, which is gonna win. And down goes the commander, killing the but duck. The duck did have full XP momentarily. Yeah, he he lived a short but glorious life. Wait, are explosions a widget too, or are they an engine thing? Explosions. Yeah, the little explosion flash. What do you mean? As this flash that happens with explosions when things explode, like a commander. Do you mean like the shockwave kind of effect? The shockwave and the light, and then the deck will under it. No, what that's happened? um, that's the engine's particle system, which you know you've got to actually write the particles for it. But oh, but I mean it's not. It's but so is that a call from Lua? I'm just thinking because the once again we're having no, underwater no, at all. Underwater, it's not showing. Yeah, that's just a thing with the kegs. Yeah, well, um, on the bright side, only one commander's left standing now. Um, yeah, that's because they can't shoot underwater. But, but, um, 
because some of the scars you managed to pick off um, Drones Commander. Now, oh, the only one which is left is Got a Strike Com. Well, yep, and that is building up nicely. Gorda is the most ahead for economy right now. Well, yeah, because he, he has a commander. <laughs> but they have double the economy, more than double the economy. Well, they are reclaiming Skazi's commander, at least. That's something. Yeah. So for the time being, they have 500 metal extra reclaimed. They have metal for another minute and a half. Yeah. Not really that useful. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> There's not much to say about this game. This there stage. isn't. It's just... Yeah. Well, and Skazi's time. already thrown in the and towel. Everything goes better. So Yogg's out throwing the towel. Skazi's... Okay, Skazi's out. That's game. That's match. That's tournament. I hope you enjoyed that. I realize it's a little one-sided. We all kind of knew who was going to win at the start. Not quite as exciting as the 1v1 tournament, but... Well... It was something, I guess. So, congratulations to Drone and Gorda for winning the tournament. Yes, but they did lose one game, so... Uh, moral, vic moral victory for like, everyone else. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Okay, so there was there were two series in this tournament that didn't go 2-0, or 1-0, I suppose. There was... It was other than Guys, he took a game off God Androne in the semi final. In the. And in the winners' Hulk finals. And Hulk took uh, a game off Dogstaff and Skazi. Hmm. <laughs> that was it. Yeah, but a bit of, so, a bit of an anti class. I mean, so, some, of the, some of the two O's were interesting, I think. I, mean, I, I only. Yeah, I mostly only saw the ones that. I should have seen I, yours. I mostly only saw the ones that. Mostly only saw the ones actually participated in. Yeah, I should have. Um, sorry, I just think it's just expected yours versus Dogstaff and Skazi. I kind of regretted not doing that. Oh, well. It was, yeah, kind of interesting games. I always, always felt a bit like we were behind, but, um... Yeah, that was yeah, it. Like, mm. Any closing thoughts? Played, yeah. I'm sorry, I keep interrupting you. Uh, no, no, no worries. Like, I, I keep trying to interject. Um, <laughs> well, this is... This, this, this tournament was always a bit of a competition for second place this time around. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and that's never really that good. A bit unfortunate. Um, droning got... Yeah, there was always the question of just how rusty a droning got out, but uh, I, I don't know. That was I, there, there was not a great deal of doubt. But still, you know, you know Skazi and Young Zolos made, made the... Made the I'd, say, I'd say the winners' finals is the more interesting series. Yeah. I mean, not... not Definitely. Not, not only because not only because they actually took one game, but the, even the games they lost were um, you know, more you know, more competitive. This, I'd say the Comet Catcher game was probably closer than the Valus Marineris one, but I'd just say. Oh, by far. I mean, the Comet Catcher game at least they they pushed back a decent amount. They got yeah. it was a slow burn of attrition, whereas Valus Marineris they never really built up very much, and then. As soon as any pressure came in, they just got smashed. The south side got smashed really quickly once the commander went down. And the north side, they barely even had it. Golda basically took it from the start of the game. And the center, the center wasn't anybody's. Yeah, I don't know. I have to say, like, the, the, maps that got, the maps that got chosen for this tournament, I, I, th I think between Desert Mountain, like the first couple of rounds at any rate, between Desert Mountain, Contested Canyon, and LLTA Complex, I think I've played like probably less than half a dozen games before on, any, on those maps combined. I don't, Desert Mountain's yeah. okay. The other ones were just large. Don't know why such large maps were I don't were in. know. It was this desert theme or something, but... Yeah, I, I can get behind the desert theme, but well, we why, have... why, was there, why was there only one game on Red Comet? Red, Comet's, Battle for Red Comet's a classic. For what, sir? Battle for Planet. That's oh, Battle for Planet Destiny Seventeen. Map. Yeah. Does that work well for two v two though? No, which match is that? I forgot. I can think of yeah, Battle for Planet Seventeen, well. Desert Plateaus, Desert Cliffs, and actually Desert Plateaus would work well here too. That should have been probably in place of LSE Complex. And uh, yeah, other than that, it's kind of hard to say. But anyway. 
That I well, the think. Problem with, the, oh, sorry. the problem with Planet um, Planet Seventeen is that it's asymmetric. Yes, and kind of small. It's a bit unfortunate for a tournament. Well, the, the small's the small's kind of okay. Being asymmetric for a tournament's a bit unfortunate. Yeah. Well, at any rate, I think that's it. I don't know if you guys have any closing comments about players or anything. Oh, not really. But it's been interesting I to um, sit on this side of the tournament for once. Yeah, um, all right. So thanks for coming. Thanks for right. helping me co-commentate. Thank you all for watching. And that's going to be it for the 2v2 April tournament. So we'll have <laughs> another one in May 1v1. And, of course, I comment, I do casts Wednesdays, Saturdays for 0k, and usually Fridays for Skullgirls, if anyone cares. But, yeah, Saturdays is always 0k. Wednesdays is sometimes 0k. So that's my normal schedule. But next tournament will be in May. It'll be a 1v1 tournament. And... That's that's it. The game, the tournament's over. Congratulations to Drone and Golda for getting for winning, and Yogg and Skazi for getting second place. Have a good night, everyone. Good night.